Hello, Laker fans. Welcome to The Lake Late Show. I'm your host, Matt, from Lakers UK. This was initially a podcast, but after a bit of a break, I've decided to bring it over to YouTube. We'll just kind of jump straight in. This is going to be like brief news segments, it's kind of the new vision for The Late Late Show. So the latest news in Lakerland is that the Lakers have waived guard Troy Daniels to open up a roster spot. There's been a lot of focus around who the Lakers will add to the roster. And a short time ago, it was DeMarcus Cousins that got waived for the addition of Markeith Morris. But then it became clear that the intention was there from Rob Palinka and co to add further talent to, to this roster. So Troy Daniels has been waived. It opens up a roster spot. Troy Daniels is a decent player. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out for him. He came in for three-point shooting in the summer, but he found his opportunities limited. He only featured in 11.1 minutes per game on average. Um, in 41 games this season, he averaged just 4.2 points on below 40% shooting and 1.1 rebounds. Apparently, it was a mutual agreement so that he could find an opportunity elsewhere. But then... Shortly after the news broke, Woj of ESPN suggested that the Lakers may not have imminent plans to add another player to the roster, that apparently the Lakers' front office will take their time in finding a suitor to fill the last roster spot. But then we already had the news that free agent guard Dion Waiters was working out for the Lakers on the 2nd of March, which is actually today. But then shortly after the Troy Daniels news, it came to the forefront that as well as working out Dion Waiters, the Lakers will also work out J.R. Smith early this week. Um, and that came from Shams of The Athletic. J.R. Smith on an Instagram stories Q&A session mentioned that the Lakers haven't reached out to him. And it seemed that that link has went dead, but the Lakers have brought him in. They will have a good look at him. They're very much the two players that the Lakers are looking for at the moment. Players like Mo Harkless have decided to stay put in New York with the Knicks. And also, yesterday marked the deadline for waived players to be playoff eligible for other teams. So the Lakers won't be looking to the buyout market anymore. They'll be focusing on the free agent pool that is already out there. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the coming days and the coming week. Um, so who do you think the Lakers should get? Should it be Dion Waiters? Should it be J.R. Smith? Should it be someone else? Um, a lot of people are still talking about Jamal Crawford. Drop us a tweet. Let us know what you think. On Twitter, we are over at LA Lakers UK. On Instagram, we're over at LA Lakers UK, whatever your preferred platform is. And we also have a website, which is LakersUK.com. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. Catch you next time.